What's going on guys? It's your boy Retro Obsessed. We are back with another gaming pickups video. We are doing things a little bit different this time throughout this year. So sit back, relax, grab yourself an ice cold beverage. We got a lot of stuff to go through guys. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Like I said in the intro, my name is Retro Obsessed. Hashtag, it's an obsession. We are back for the 2021 season. Hope everyone had a great and happy New Year's over there. I had a massive, massive month last month uh, through the whole month of December. And then we got about a couple weeks into January. I got a ton of stuff to go through. I'm not gonna take any more of your time. I'm gonna do stuff a little bit different this time with my pickups. My pickups have been taking way too long, you know, and I'm noticing in the analytics, people are stopping after like maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes my my pickup videos can be like 45 minutes long or more way too long I'm gonna try to make these short and sweet guys, but I got a ton of stuff to go through I got tons of video games tons of media tons of movies tons of everything So I'm just gonna go ahead and write and go right down to it go through everything I got first and foremost if you are noticing my awesome awesome 8-bit pixel glasses got these from my good buddies the NES pursuit We got riff we got Mikey we got Gabo we got Ricky all of those guys are super super awesome They live up, you know all just a couple hours away from me and they hooked me up these awesome Pixel Game Squad glasses, you can see right there. Super, super awesome, really cool. 8-bit, nice plastic lenses. These are really cool. I love going, going thrifting in these things. They're super cool. Let's go right down to it, guys. We got a ton, a ton of stuff. I basically categorized everything, all my stuff. All my video games, all my music, all my movies, um, all my CDs, all my toys, extra controllers and stuff like that. First up, this is my daughter's, but she wanted me to show it off. So here it is, guys. She got herself an Xbox X. Super, super awesome. She finally got one. It's awesome. She wanted me to show it off. She got like three or four games, but they're in their rooms and, and they're already sleeping. They got school tomorrow, so I ain't going to go in there. But yeah, my daughter got an Xbox X, or I'm sorry, not an Xbox X. An Xbox One. Did I say Xbox X? Yeah. I meant Xbox One. I apologize. I don't even have an Xbox X. I don't want one. I want a PS5. Anyway, my daughter got an Xbox One. I'm gonna keep that in there. Might as well have some bloopers, right guys? Got a couple cool Mario Kart figures here. Found these on offer up. Two of them for five bucks. Really cool. They're usually about five bucks a piece. Two for five. Awesome. They're part of my uh, my Mario Kart collection. We got this picture from the wifey. She gave me this. Really, really awesome. I already have two or three of these hanging up in the game room. This is the last one I needed to complete it and she bought it for me so wifey thank you very much greatly appreciate it we got a plug and play pack uh, pac-man a uh, game here really really awesome not only does it have pac-man it has a uh, miss pac-man and three or four other Atari games I believe it had Galaga asteroids and a few others built into it really awesome plug that right in fire it right up and yeah it works awesome so really cool to have that plug it right into a TV right there and you got some nice quality pac-man for you my buddy Danny over at Pico Resellers, gifted me a whole bunch of stuff. We, you all guys, see his stuff all the time pop up. He gives me a big old box of goodies about you know once every few weeks or so. And this one was a massive, massive box of video games and and controllers and stuff like that. And he got me this nice gold Xbox 360 controller. Really, really awesome. Love that. Glad to have that into the collection. And then he also gave me this. This is really awesome. This is a Super Pad 64 Plus for the Nintendo 64. Really awesome. Never seen that before. Super, super nice. Joysticks are nice and tight. And yeah, super awesome. Never played this before. I never even seen it before, but really cool. It's not a, a you know a third part or a first party, but it does have the controller pack with it. That's really cool. It's made by Interact. So yeah, definitely, definitely awesome. Look forward to playing the N64 on that one. Looks definitely uh, even better than the original controller because I'm not a big fan of the N64 controller, but that looks pretty cool and very, very uh, comfortable to hold too. Couple more figures here. Uh, the kids got these for me for Christmas. That was awesome. We got Toad and Mario. Pretty cool there. They got those for me. Thank you guys very much. Pretty, greatly appreciate it. And then this came from Danny Pico Resellers. He is, it is the 100% complete inbox SimCity 2000 for the PC for my Windows 98 computer. Really awesome there. I uh, started playing this already, installed it. It's super awesome. Got the instruction manual, the owner's manual, and the game itself. Really, really awesome. Super cool to add that into the Windows 95, uh, Windows 98 collection right there. Really awesome there. All right, next up we got some music. We got the best of Pantera. Really awesome there. God love my heart, my hard rock. This is the Jaegermeister Music Tour from 2007. 
with a Stone Sour, Slayer, Deftone, Shinedown, Pepper, HIM, Lucina Coil, Fair, super, super awesome. Hate Breed, Guar. Haven't had a chance to play it yet. Looks super awesome though. Then we got Leonard Skinner, Free Bird, the movie soundtrack. Looks like an awesome soundtrack right there. And then we got Metallica, Some Kind of Monster. Not one of the best, but I do love Metallica. Awesome there. And then we got a cassette tape. Yes, I do have cassettes. I have a small cassette collection. Uh, this is the Doobie Brothers Living on the Fault Line. Full cassette. Pretty cool. Tell me that doesn't bring back some memories, huh? And then we have the Dukes of Hazard complete first season DVD. Really awesome. Love to have that. I love Dukes of Hazard. That's really cool there. All right, and we got a bunch of VHS. Gonna go ahead and go through them really quick and show you guys. So we got Total Recall, Home Alone, Pink Cadillac, Meet the Parents, Scary Movie 2, Arachnophobia, amazing movie, I love that one. Tombstone, my favorite Western movie of all times and one of my top five favorite movies of all time. Tombstone, brand new, steel sealed, $2 on eBay, could not beat that, awesome deal there. Beverly Hillbillies, right on. The Sixth Sense, great movie with Bruce Willis. The Wedding Singer, doesn't get much better than Adam Sandler. Turner and Hooch, Tom Hanks, awesome movie, I love that one. Original, Nightmare on Elm Street, kind of a crappy box, but super, super awesome. Original, Nightmare on Elm Street. Back to the Future Part 3, awesome one with a Western one. And uh, Back to the Future Original, now I just need, oh, here it is, Back to the Future 2. Got the whole trilogy on VHS, awesome there. We got Planet of the Apes, The Thing, and last but not least, and yes, I wanted to say this for last, I've been waiting to find this VHS, decent copy, decent box for a decent price for a long time. I've been looking probably for about six months or so. Finally found it. I ended up paying a little bit more than I wanted to pay for a VHS. I think I ended up paying 12 bucks for this, but great deal, and that is The Wizard. Awesome, awesome movie. Super Mario Brothers! The Wizard. My absolute favorite gaming related movie of all time, The Wizard. And if you guys look up this movie on Laserdisc, which I do have a Laserdisc collection as well, is going for about $100. That's actually one of my grails that I'm trying to get in 2021 is The Wizard, Super Mario Brothers, you know, Mario Brothers the movie. That one's going for about $75 to $100. And then also uh, Days of Confused on Laserdisc is going for about $50 to $75 bucks, depending on the condition. So those are the three movies I'm going to try to find in the wild or for a good deal in 2021. All right, guys, that's all the media. Super awesome. Wanted to go through it because I have a ton of stuff to go through if, as far as my video games go. I have them all categorized. I have PS1, PS2, PS3. I think I have some PS4 in there. I got original Xbox. I got original error. I got Xbox 360 and I got Nintendo NES, Super Nintendo and Nintendo Wii and a couple Wii U games. Let's get right down to it, guys. I still stack of PS1 games. Let's go right down to it. Real Fishing, Sammy Sosa High Heat Baseball 2001. Hydro Thunder, awesome, awesome game. Uh, this is get this. I bought this one for my buddy Young Games 916 RetroDilio.com. Uh, amazing, he hooked me up with a really good price on this. This is a game that I've been looking for for the past couple years. It's jumping up in price. Glad to have it. Jimmy White's Two Curveball, RC Stunt Copter, Action Bass, brand new sealed, never open. Pretty cool. Card games, Atari Anniversary Edition Redux. Pretty cool. All Star Slime and B Ball. Army Men Air Attack 2, IHRA Drag Racing, Pipe Dreams 3D, NFL Game Day 2003, NBA Shootout 2000, Motocross Mania 2, NFL Game Day 2000, Final Fantasy 9, that's pretty awesome. This is, uh, yeah, this is complete. Pretty cool there. Got the first disc and, yep, all the discs right there. 100% complete. Really awesome that we have that one. All right, next up we got PS2. We got a lot of them. Let's go through them. Looney Tunes Space Race. Awesome game. I love this one. This is a uh, definitely an awesome kart style racing game that I'm going to be adding in a future uh, YouTube video. Be on the lookout for this game. Awesome, awesome game. If you like kart style racing, definitely got to get this one. Juiced. Awesome game. Amazing game. This is also going to be on an upcoming YouTube video. Be on the lookout for that one. One of my top three street racing games of all time. Destruction Derby Arenas. Never heard of this one. One of my buddies, hey. Iowa Retro Gamer Dad. You guys know him, Zach, really cool guy. He had mentioned this game was an awesome, awesome racing game. This definitely reminds me, uh, just by the looking at it, reminds me of Wreckfest. Uh, Wreckfest, which I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. Really awesome there. So definitely want to look out, look, check that one out. Uh, Power Drome. Metal Arms Glitch in the System. Ben 10 Protector of the Earth, 
Motocross Mania 3, Amplitude, Fight Night Round 2, Shellshock Nom 67, artwork is awesome on that one, American Chopper, American Chopper 2, WWE Smackdown, Just Bring It. All right, and a few PS3 games. We got Dirt 3, amazing game. Uh, another one of my favorite street racing games of all time, Midnight Club, Los Angeles, Complete Edition, I Pet, and Split Second. This one was also uh, told to me by a few uh, YouTubers and Instagram followers that it's an amazing racing game. As you can tell, racing is my favorite genre. I'm gonna be doing a five-part racing game series on YouTube. Be on the lookout for those, really awesome. A few people had mentioned this game, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and see if it's gonna be on one of the videos. And I actually uh, lost a game. I didn't lose it, I just found it, but it was in the bottom of the pile. And I actually just picked this up today. This is another amazing kart racing game. If you love kart racing games, you've never played this one, definitely get it. It's getting a little pricey. Well, for me, any, to me, anything over like 15 to 20 bucks is, is pricey to me, you know, because I like to find all my stuff in the wild. I found this on eBay, got it for, I think, $14, so it wasn't too bad, but that is CTR Crash Team Racing, amazing kart style racing game. If you have not played this one, go ahead, pick it up. It is super fun. You will be glad you did. Uh, I did get one Dreamcast game, and that is a Sega Sports World Series Baseball 2K2. All right, you guys, on to the Nintendo. Got a couple NES games. We got Where in Time is Carmen San Diego and Tag Team Wrestling. Few Super NES games. We got College Slam, Brunswick World Tournament Champions, Caesar's Palace, and I also have been looking for about six months for a good price, a good copy of this game. And it's getting pretty pricey. This is going for around $40. Luckily, I won this about midnight on eBay for $18. It is authentic. I already opened it up. Amazing condition. Super clean label. And that is Rock and Roll Racing. one of my all-time favorite racing games of all time this is definitely going to be on a video a future youtube video definitely be on the lookout for this one if you love arcade style racing you have to try this one amazing amazing music you know ozzy osbourne black you know black sabbath steppenwolf all those guys and a 16-bit music so really really awesome there two gamecube games we got madden 07 and madden 05 and we got a nice little week stack here we got we ski Kids Bop Dance Party, the video game, Neopets Puzzle Adventure, Epic Mickey, Heat Seeker, that looks like a pretty cool game, Ultimate Hoops Challenge, Lego Batman, the video game, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, we got Lego City Undercover, and Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U, awesome deal there. And this game right here completes my North American Mario Kart collection, super, super awesome to have that into the collection. I even have a Japanese uh, Mario Kart 64, awesome. Now all I need is a couple uh, PAL versions that, I, that they have. I think there's like three or four PAL releases and I'll have every single Mario Kart ever made. Really, really awesome. Glad to have that into the Mario Kart collection. And one Nintendo Switch game that I got was Grip. Awesome. This is the Air Blades vs. Rollers Ultimate Edition with extra DLC. Amazing, amazing game. Super fun. It's a little bit too fast paced for me. Um, I do love fast paced racing games, but this one's just a little bit too much. Uh, and especially with, with my ADD, it's super, super hard to concentrate, especially on an insanely fast paced game. This one was a little bit too hard for me. It was too difficult, even on the easy settings. I kept on crashing all the time. It was insanely fun, but it's probably just gonna be a shell piece or maybe my kids will try it. Maybe my son will like it. He's got ADHD, so we'll see, but he's super, super into video games. So hopefully he can get a he can get a grip on this game. Ah, ah, you see what I did there? Ah, ah. Yeah, grip, Nintendo Switch, awesome game there. All right, down to the nitty gritty guys. We just got some Xbox left and that's it. OG Xbox, we got a uh, test drive, platinum hits. IHRI Drag Racing 2004, one of the best street racing games ever made, Need for Speed Underground. Not as good as number two, but super, super amazing. We got Madden 2005, Colin McRae Rally 04, Madden 2004, Outlaw Volleyball, really, really cool. I have never played this one before, but I have played the Outlaw Tennis, and I'm sure it's by the same company. But yeah, super, super fun game. And then we got Ford Racing 3. We got a couple 360 games, and that consists of Madden 13, ABC Wipeout, Create and Crash, and another one of my favorite racing games, Need for Speed Carbon. All right, guys, that is it. I just had a ton and ton of stuff. 
I was trying to go through it as fast as I can, so I apologize. If you are new to the channel and you do like this kind of content, whether it's gaming related, old school music, VHS, video games, old Nintendo from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and do me a hit that subscribe button for me, guys. Hit that bell to be notified of my new videos coming out. I do have a bunch of new plans for 2021, a bunch of new ideas for some new videos. Of course, I'm going to be doing my pickup videos, show you guys what I get, especially because I found I find all my stuff basically out in the wild unless I get trading points, and then I'll get me some new games. But other than that, I like to find my stuff out in the wild. Definitely a little bit difficult these last uh, this last year and a half. Uh, 2020 was insanely hard to find stuff out in the wild for a decent price. I still got a lot of stuff, but that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing was. Maybe your favorite game from NES, uh, the Super Nintendo, PS1, PS2, PS3, Xbox, Xbox 360, Dreamcast. Uh, maybe a favorite movie that I picked up. Did you guys ever watch or like The Wizard? Uh, what did you think of that? Super, super awesome movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. And as always, thank you, Pixel Game Squad. And a big shout out to my brother from another mother, Pac-Man Case. Uh, my 2021 gaming partner and YouTube partner for 2021. Be on the lookout for some stuff coming out this year from us. Really cool there. And don't forget to check out my merchandise, guys. I have do have merchandise available now on Teespring. I will leave a link in the description below. Along with both of my sponsors, I have Raise Energy, which is Raise Energy Drinks. Then I also have No Name Nerd, an awesome company that has uh, really cool gaming jerseys. You can put your 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 logos, your YouTube logo, your gaming game, gamers tag, your logo, all that good stuff on really cool gaming jerseys. I do have some links, and I'll give you guys uh, down below. If you save you 10 to 15 percent. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Don't forget, retro obsessed hashtag. It's an obsession. Have a good one, guys, and be safe out there. Peace.